On behalf of the American Junior Golf Association and the United States Golf Association, I'm honored to present the President's Leadership Award for this year to Nick Leibold. Nick? First of all, I want to say congratulations to Hannah. Um, sounds like you've done amazing work with everything you've done, so congratulations on winning this great award. Um, as most of you know, Leadership Links is a joint program by the USGA and AJGA to enable junior golfers to raise money for the ACE grant program and a charity of their choice. Last year, I started raising money for, through the Birdies for Charity program. In addition to the ACE grant program, I choose, chose to raise money for the first tee at Denver. The first tee teaches get, kids the game of golf and the life lessons that come with it. All of us know that golf teaches us values like integrity, respect, and perseverance. I'm excited that my efforts will allow others to learn this great game. And I, I realize that most of the kids who come through the first tee will never break 100, but that doesn't matter. I volunteer there now and I can tell you that their time there is well spent, even if they never make a birdie. Through matching funds from the USGA and the incredible generosity of my donors last year, I raised over $11,000. The check that I presented to the first tee at Denver will allow over 80 kids to attend their program this summer. Although when I presented the check, one of the second graders in the pictures you saw started yelling, Vegas baby, so I think he had other plans for the money. I just started my 2015 campaign a, week, a few weeks ago, and I've already raised over 4,000 additional dollars. I continue to be amazed at the number of people willing to give to these great causes. As an unexpected result of my fundraising, last fall, the AJGA arranged for me and eight others to play around with Ricky Fowler at his home course in Florida. I learned two important things from Ricky. First, I need to practice. Second, no matter how rich or famous you become, this game teaches you that you should always give back. That guy can take his gorgeous girlfriend in his crazy fast car to his private jet and go anywhere in the world whenever he wants. Instead, he spent an entire Saturday with a group of awestruck teenagers playing golf, signing autographs, and getting, giving clinics. He could not have been more gracious. That experience with Ricky was far more recognition than I ever could have expected. To also win the President's Leadership Award is just incredible. I am honored, humbled, and honestly surprised. What I did doesn't seem all that unusual, especially in my family. I am surrounded by people who have provided me daily examples in how to give back. My great-grandparents gave what money they could to worthy causes, always anonymously. And my grandparents, two of whom are here tonight, are some of the most generous people I know. Then there's my mom. Like most people in this room, my mom spends a crazy amount of time getting my brother and me to and from tournaments, games, practices, and other activities. Beyond that, she has probably raised more money for schools, sports teams, and nonprofits than I will make in my lifetime. She volunteers more time in a month than I have for this entire project. So thank you, Mom. You are the reason I'm standing here today. Oh, and I guess you too, Dad. So I am deeply grateful to the AJGA and USGA for, for this award, but I still really feel like I'm just a kid raising money in his spare time. The real heroes are the people who have dedicated their lives to, the, to helping others. People like Ms. Glorso, who runs the Special Olympics program at my school, and all the other teachers and coaches who have supported me. People like Nick Johnson at the First Tee of Denver, who inspires kids every day through golf. And people like Beth Doctor, whose tireless efforts have allowed the Leadership Links program to generate over $1 million for charity since 2009. Those are the people we should celebrate. I was trying to come up with a thought I could leave you with, and I found this quote from John Wooden. Don't let what you cannot do interfere with what you can do. If you had told me last spring that I could raise more than $15,000 in just over a year, I would have told you you were crazy. For me, the thought of starting a fundraising campaign on my own would have been too daunting. What do I know about setting up a website, accepting credit card payments, or generating tax receipts? But the AJGA and USGA have made it all so simple. 
and they do all those things for me. I had the easy part. So I encourage all of you to take advantage of this great opportunity. Find a charity that you support, reach out to your family and friends for support, and then make as many birdies as possible. You'll be amazed at what you can accomplish. I know that I've been. Thank you.